Warriors. This week we're live at the Trivia Championships of North America in Las Vegas. I'm your host, Tony Hightower. Let's meet our all-star experts. I'm a chaser on the original UK version of the chase, but I'm also an expert in Discworld. I'm a film producer, but I'm an expert in Mad Men. I'm a data scientist, but I'm an expert on prints. Welcome, experts! Our game is played in four rounds. In round one, you'll answer ten questions apiece. We'll start with Anne, our Discworld expert. So Anne, you, you're a chaser on the chase, the original version of the chase, That's the UK one. Um, why Discworld? Why, do you, why are you an expert in Discworld? Um, I love a good fantasy novel, but um, I also love good comedy. And um, Terry Pratchett writes great uh, comedy fantasy novels. Uh, ten questions on Discworld for you, and then number one, Discworld is a large disc-shaped planet that rests on the top of what? Uh, on the top of four elephants that are standing on a turtle. That's correct. What was the first novel in the series published in 1983? The Color of Magic. Thank you. Number three, what disease did author Terry Pratchett announce he had in 2007? Uh, Alzheimer's. Mm. Number four, what Discworld character has been described as the magical equivalent to the number zero? Uh, Rincewind. Rincewind is right. Who is Susan Stohalian's maternal grandfather? Death. Thank you. Number six, what illustrator designed the cover art for all the British editions until he died in 2001? Josh Kirby. That's right. Number seven, what is the name of Death's pale horse? Binky. Binky is right. Number eight, what country, just three kilometers wide but 240 kilometers long, is based on the culture of ancient Egypt? Jelly Baby. Jelly Baby. I'm not going to ask you to spell it. Number nine, what material is the luggage made from? Sapien Pearwood. That's right. And number ten, what is Susan Stohelian's occupation in Hogfather before she becomes a teacher in Thief of Time? Oh, she's a nanny. She's a governess. Oh. <laughs> All right. Okay, that brings us to our second expert, Brad. Right? Brad, your name right? Okay. Uh, you're an expert in Mad Men. Again, of all the things that you are an expert in, and they are many, what's up with Mad Men? Well, I remember a few years ago there was a legendary pilot going around LA that uh, a guy who wrote on Sopranos wrote, and Sopranos was finally over and he got a chance to shoot it. It was called Mad Men, and it was set. It was a period piece set in the advertising world on Madison Avenue in 1960, which sounded right up my alley. So I've been watching ever since. This is your thing. Apparently. You're a. Okay. Fair enough. Let's find out how much of your thing it really is. Let's get started. Number one. At the beginning of the series, Don Draper is a creative director at what ad, ad, ad agency? Sterling Cooper. Sterling Cooper is correct. One more, what are the first names of Don's three wives? Um, Anna, Betty, and Megan. That's right. Number three. What company is Don pitching when he makes a season one carousel speech? Kodak. Kodak is right. Number four. In a focus group for Belgian lipstick, Peggy Olsen uses what phrase that makes Freddie think she might be a good copywriter? A basket of kisses. Basket of kisses. Number five. Where is Tony Charles working when she dates Lane Price? Uh, the Playboy Club. The Playboy Club is right. Number six. Season six opens with Dawn on a beach in Hawaii reading what work? Dante's Inferno. Dante's Inferno. Number seven. On what date does Margaret Sterling marry Brooks Hargrove? November 23rd, 1963. That is right. Number eight. How does Dick Whitman's real father, Archie, meet his demise? He's kicked in the face by a horse. That's right. Yay. Number nine. What is the name of the soap opera that makes Megan Draper famous? Uh, to have and to hold. That is correct. And number ten. Aside from Roger Sterling, who is the only partner to actually kiss Joan in the office? Lane Price. Lane Price is right. There you go. Ten for ten. I didn't expect a lot of wrong answers. Really, Roger, uh, you have something to hold up at your end. Your expertise is Prince. Yeah, that's right. I've uh, been into Prince ever since I was a little kid. I remember riding uh, in a car with my mom, and uh, this song <laughs> came on the radio. I was, what is this song? It was one of the first songs that uh, first grabbed me. This was in the 1999 uh, for Boy Hair. All right, so you you got into Prince because of your mom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah like, because of the radio. Yeah. Which, okay, sure. Yeah. 
That's all right. Let's see how much you know about Prince. Here we go, Roger. Ten questions on Prince. Number one: What is Prince's last name? Nelson. Number two: In 1993, Prince officially changed his name to an unpronounceable symbol, which he eventually copyrighted under what name? Love symbol. Love symbol. Love symbol number two. Number three: What was the first album Prince released after changing his name to Love Symbol Number Two? It's the gold experience. Number four, what TV show is mentioned in the lyrics of the song Kiss? Dynasty. Dynasty. Number five, as of mid-2013, what was Prince's last single to reach number one on the Billboard Hot 100? The last single to reach number one was Cream. Cream is right. Number six, what was the name of the record label Prince ran from 1985 to 1993? Paisley Park Records. Number seven, what song includes the lyric, a body like yours ought to be in jail because it's on the verge of being obscene? Little Red Corvette. Little Red Corvette. Exactly in that voice. Number eight, Prince's keyboardist from 1979 to 1991 performed under what stage name? Dr. Fink. Dr. Fink. What album was the Prince Madonna duet love song first released on? Like a prayer is right. And number 10, what line completes the lyric, you kiss your enemies like you know you should, then you jerk your body like a horny pony would. That's exactly right. Yeah. Well done. That was going to be difficult for uh, eight points to you. You should be eight points. Well, we're going to start round two right after this. Let's see how they do. Click right here for round two.